All right, so Windows 365 Cloud PC. Uh, so so um, gonna this is a really awesome subject. So let's get in there uh, and 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 get after it. Uh, so so basically, a uh, little introduction. So Windows 3. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think it went backwards. You can you uh, forward it real quick? There you go. Uh, All right, there sweet, you go. man. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically, um, intro here. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and uh, click next. Come on. Is it working for you? Yeah, it's like a little lagged over here, a little Mickey Mouse situation. All right. So basically, you know, Windows 365 Cloud PC, right, is not is not a, a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, AI bots running desktops in the cloud. It doesn't look like this, a spooky little situation, right? This It's a full-on platform as a service. Uh uh, SaaS based solution that Microsoft is is running and managing as as a service, right? And and so the recent 20, 2024 DAS survey uh, Gartner report came out. Microsoft is a leader. Um, you know, I got my thoughts there on some of this stuff, but you know, look how far Citrix is and this is behind in front of Citrix. I don't know. Uh, you know, they they got their own formula on how this is is done here. But one of the things that you can't deny is the the sheer demand. And the the onboarding that we're seeing uh, with Microsoft, with AVD, um, you know, with Cloud PC uh, across the board. Um, so so maybe they're looking at sheer numbers. They're looking at the innovation in the ecosystem, right, as part of that. So let's go ahead and and uh, and get into it. Oh, why does it keep going back? Okay. All right. So SaaS based solution. There's there's three different uh, licenses. We're only going to focus on the enterprise and frontline license um, because we got a limited amount of time. Happy to do follow ups to talk through that. Most of our customers are on the larger enterprise side. Um, so on the enterprise side, uh, we'll talk through this different SKUs that you have there, but enterprise basically gives you that Intune managed integration. It also gives you some additional advanced capabilities, which we'll talk about. Frontline essentially is, is a really slick license for shift workers, right? So if you have three different shifts, you can have one license for three people. And that's really, really good from a cost savings perspective. Frontline is the way to go. Uh, if you're if you're using, you know, in, in the cloud, your workloads are in Azure and you're a shift based, you know, call center type type environment. With that said, there's multiple SKUs uh, for for uh, for Windows 365 Enterprise. So I'm not going to talk through all these, but the biggest thing to keep in mind here is it's fixed, right? These are fixed per user, per month, SKUs, T-shirt sizes, two vCPU, eight gigs of RAM. You have three different storage options. Um, and then you have monthly subscriptions, right? Per user, per month. And, and these are MSRP prices. These are published on the internet. You know, you're a big shop. You got committed spend. Microsoft's willing to, to make things work, right? Because they want you on, all, on Windows 365. They want the cloud PC. Biggest thing here, which is pretty incredible, for five extra dollars a month, I feel like I'm on QVC, for five extra dollars a month, uh, if you, you get uh, integrated DR, right? This is huge. So they're, they're in the background. In the AVD world, we got an architect for DR. We got an architect of the landing zone and all the plumbing. They're doing mm -hmm. this all for you behind the scenes and are auto-replicating you to another region. One-click DR and a complete regional outage with a four-hour RPO for five bucks a month. That's pretty nuts. Um, yeah, 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 it's it's mind blowing. Also, when you look at the SLA, which we'll talk about as well. Um, but there's re there's reasons to use it and there's reasons not to use it, which we're going to talk about too. So uh, don't get too excited, but but get excited. So frontline is not feature parity yet with the enterprise license. Uh, so with that, you know, resize because you can resize these. You can move them across regions. HDX Plus, Oz is going to talk about. You can actually front end these desktops with HDX, right? So getting all those advancements and um, which I won't steal the thunder there. Um, so different SKUs. And with that, there's also GPU SKUs. Uh, so if you're, you know, high intense graphics, honestly, these days, maybe you're not a graphic shop, but you're doing, a, you know, just general purpose GPU in a lot of the case, right, is, is actually does help when you're doing, you know, whether it's Office or Excel or just general browsing. The browser itself, honestly, is becoming a GPU based app, right, uh, with everything going on. But you look at, you know, standard Super and Max, these are all vGPU NVIDIA backed per user per month uh, instances. Uh, so this is the architecture, right? I'm going to talk about two key things here on the architecture. Okay, so it does use the Azure Virtual Desktop Service. So it's using the protocol. It's using the backend that it has with additional microservices. Uh, so what you'll see here on this side, it has a provisioning service, a capacity region and management service, an end user portal that you connect to, windows365.microsoft.com. You can use the native app. It uses all the native, and actually they just released a Windows app, right, that's unified across Windows, iOS, Linux, web, Android, and Mac OS. 
Um, with that said, uh, basically, this is really, really key to zero in on. The enterprise version offers two, two key areas uh, to go into, right? It's, it's something uh, from a provisioning perspective. It's a Microsoft hosted network and it's an Azure network connection. A Microsoft hosted network is true zero trust. You basically, your desk, you, it does not care about your Azure subscription. It doesn't care about, uh, it cares about your tenant from an authentication perspective, but it's not touching anything in your environment. Microsoft hosts the desktop. Microsoft hosts the connection. It has zero connection back to your environment unless you use a VPN or, or a, you know, a SASE based you know, type solution per app VPN. Uh, a scenario. So that's a, a true like temp worker type scenario. You're giving them a desktop in the cloud. They have no access to your environment. Azure Network Connection is a way for you to actually, they still host a desktop, but that NIC sits inside of your subscription. What that means is then that sits inside of your VNet, which means you have your UDR, your routing, and all those fancy policies that you might want to do in your environment. Uh, you know, Microsoft hosted network can be, you know, enter joined. Azure Network Connection can be hybrid or enter joined. So that's kind of key things to point out there. So with that said, um, let's talk about, you know, the differences between the two. And then we're going to talk, we'll close out with, you know, who it's for um, and then a provisioning policy. So I got maybe a few more minutes. Um, so a AVD native, right? So flexible, right? Pooled, persistent, pay as you go, one year, three year reserved instances, you know, support for remote app, remote app, right? Uh, which is not possible to do with Windows 365 today. Windows 10, single session and multi-session, right? Can't do that with Windows 365. Server OS, can't do that with Windows 365. Architect knowledge required, right? It's not a, AVD isn't a turnkey, get up and going, you know, uh, Bob's Pizza guy is spinning pizzas and he's also spinning up AVD environments, right? Doesn't happen. You know, highly customized, you know, any supported SKU, any supported storage option, not fixed. FS Logics essentially is the profile management solution. Windows 365 is a personal desktop. There is no profile management, right? It's auto backing up your profile. Manual backup, right? Duplicate landing zone for DR. Persistent with hibernation. That's something to keep in mind, right? If you are a persistent environment, maybe you're not 24 seven, you can leverage the new hibernation features with, uh, with AVD and, and Citrix on top and potentially get a better cost, uh, cost per dollar there. Uh, so with that said, um, so if we go back here, just uh, another two minutes to wrap this up. So CPC, I already talked through this fixed SKUs. It's full uh, SAS backed SLA, 99.9 .9 uptime, uh, six hours on the RPO, less than 30 minutes, 11 nines, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I talked through most of this um, built in e-discovery on the forensic side. Uh, so basically that's actually a, a, a Windows 365 only feature, you can actually put your Windows 365 desktop in review and it actually takes it, it, it grabs the data, puts it into a storage account and it's available for review uh, from a forensics perspective. So that's something very unique. Um, shift work, right? Frontline we talked about. So again, you know, think of this as a 100% delivered service uh, by Microsoft per user. It literally is easy to turn on, which you're gonna see here in a second. Uh, so let's go take a quick look at a walkthrough. This is like a one minute video. Um, so go ahead and click next and then we'll wrap. And I pretty much already did the last slide. Um, so uh, just talking through this. So inside of Intune, if you're not, if you're not a Nerdio customer, inside of Intune under Windows devices, you'll have Windows 365. You're going to see all your cloud PCs. You're going to see their provisioning policy on where they actually sit. A provisioning policy essentially is how is your Windows 365 desktop going to be provisioned? What region is it going to be in? You can, you can do custom images or you can use marketplace images. They encourage marketplace image and using more modern app management, right? Using Intune, using uh, other, other, you know, Turbo and other solutions to actually containerize your application, MSIX, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so this is where you're going to go in term. Is it enterprise? Is it frontline? Is it enter joined? Is it hybrid joined? Is it a Microsoft hosted network? If so, choose the region. Is it an Azure network connection? If so, choose which Azure network connection. Um, and that's going to determine your region. It also has integration to auto patch. You'll create a naming policy here. You'll term in a scope, for instance. Maybe it's cloud PCs in a specific region or whatnot. You're going to assign a group. As you can click the next video. You're going to assign a group. And once you assign that group, that, that, then, that then basically ties into uh, Entra. And when you add the user into the Entra group, it basically will auto provision a desktop for them. That's all. User help desk says, okay, new user gets on board, they get put into the entry group, it will auto kick off a desktop and they're ready to go.
Uh, so this next video is just going to show just one quick thing on, I just wanted to show uh, just a little sprinkle in a, a little Dexy action here. But just if you just click on this, uh, this uh, a if you have control up, you have the new Enrich plugin, which is Intune integration. You click on a desktop that's Intune managed. Okay. Uh, do, do we replay the same video? I think we're replaying the same first video. video on here. Uh... Hit, hit next real quick. Oh, sorry. Fast forward it. That's what happened. Oh, all right. Fast forward it like 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 middle to the end, like right there. Yeah. A little bit more. And anyway. uh, yeah, right there. Right there? Yeah, hit play. Yeah. All right. Here we go. There you go. Nice little Yeah, so yep. So just wrapping this up here. So you'll see it automatically detects that you have control up DEX on the endpoint. It'll actually pull in that DEX data. So that endpoint data directly into Intune. It's enriching that Intune experience, memory, CPU, disk. Wi-Fi metrics, all the stuff from the physical endpoint, and it, uh, as well as what's on the, the Windows 365 desktop in a unified experience and remote control, which is an, typically an extra $3 a user. Uh, with Entra, it's integrated with uh, with the DEX solution. So that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the next slide. And this is, I pretty much already talked through this. Um, yeah, I talked through most of this today. The only thing is Windows 365. Let's just talk about who it's not for. Essentially, if you need local offline access, they mentioned offline access is coming, hasn't come out yet. If you need more custom storage or compute options, always on isn't required, right? In a non-Azure hosted environment. So that's it. Windows 365, Nerdio, a little bit of lightning fast action. We're going to...